Now let's study about hemolytic anemia. Hemolytic anemia occurs when red blood cell destruction is increased as the result of an acquired or inherited condition which generally interferes with normal red blood cell survival. And so the hemolytic anemia causes can be inherited causes or acquired causes. And inherited causes, inherited causes examples are sickle cell anemia, sickle cell anemia, thalassemia, hereditary spherocytosis, G6PD deficiency. And acute causes are chronic malaria, sepsis with DIC, autoimmune hemolytic anemia, hypersplenism due to any cause. And there are four reasons why the destruction may occur. So they are one is due to hemoglobinopathies. That is uh, example our thalassemia and sickle cell anemia. Then next one is due to some problem in the RBC cell membrane. RBC cell membrane defect. And examples are our hereditary spherocytosis or elliptocytosis. Then third due to deficiency of enzymes in the cell membrane. Enzyme deficiency uh, in cell membrane. So that example is our G6PD deficiency, pyruvate kinase deficiency. Then fourth cause is due to problem in peripheral circulation of RBC. Due to problem in peripheral circulation of RBC. And that causes are autoimmune hemolytic anemia, paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria, prosthetic wall, hypersplenism DIC so all the acute causes you can write under the peripheral circulation and the first three uh, reasons you can uh, write under the inherited causes